I get asked about the question about peak oil a lot, and the, the, the question is, well, we have a limited amount of oil. Well, yes, we do have a limited amount of oil. We have a limited amount of television cameras and uh, Rolex watches and uh, light bulbs and you name it. There's a, there's a finite number of everything. My response to the, the peak oil uh, uh, arguments are, okay, so what? Yes, we're going to hit a peak oil production at some point in the future. When that is, no one can predict. But the point is that as the price of oil rises, entrepreneurs, innovators are going to come up with new ways to find oil and get it out of the ground. And further, that the issue as that, as that price rises, demand has to stay in balance with supply. You can't have more demand than the supply. The price eventually will, will crush demand at a certain point and they will, they will stay in balance. The good news for the U.S., which I think is, people may not say it's good news, but we can afford higher oil prices more easily than can say Pakistan or India. We are we are a wealthier country. We have more disposable income, um, and so we are going to see as as oil or natural gas or any commodity becomes more expensive. Rolex watches, they are rationed by price, and in fact, we have rationing by price today on virtually every commodity. Not everyone can uh, eat at Twenty One Club. Not everyone wears a Rolex. Everything is rationed by price. As energy prices rise, we will see more pronounced rationing by price of energy commodities. And I think that that's inevitable. The good news is that as the price rises, we'll see more innovation and more alternatives come into the market, whatever that may be, whether it's batteries in cars or uh, you know, some other uh, liquid fuel, uh, not ethanol, uh, that may come into the market.